<laughs> I was sitting here listening. Well, I was sitting here deciding what I'm going to have for dinner. <laughs> and Cat Burns, like I've I've got a random list of music, and Cat Burns live live more and love more came on. <laughs> it's like it was a really good like when I first heard that song. It was a brilliant catalyst for me to to remember how insignificant the biggest problem in our life seems to us. Like whatever you're experiencing right now, like I'm sure you can come up with like the the number one biggest um, issue in your life or that you perceive in your life at the moment. It's like if you zoom out, like and look at your just your life the insignificance of that problem on your entire life that you've already lived let alone that you're still yet to live and then if you zoom out further and then go like how how significant is this problem in the like you know entirety of the universe it's like it's not even a drop in the ocean it's nothing it's like <laughs> I've managed to get rid of my biggest problems that my biggest problem is and I like is do I have dinner and and what am I going to have for dinner like <laughs> I've reduced the amount of you know and I used to carry so much stress unnecessarily like you know trying to trying to come up with solutions for issues that when I let them go it's like well if I if I just let it go it's not even an issue it's nothing it's just not even like a speed bump it's just a blip and it's you know it's really learning what's worth giving your attention to and what's not and you know one of one of the things like I mean everything I say is always it's funny because like there's always a contradiction within everything I say because of the duality and the paradox of the human experience but it's like it's just whatever I'm expressing in the moment is what I'm expressing on one aspect of something and sometimes I'll show multiple aspects but anyway it's you know really really realizing like where my focus was and you know where and I you know my priorities over throughout my span of my human experience has <clears throat> very much adapted and changed and you know, like, when I had no health, like, that that really taught me about prioritising, you know, health and well-being and, and, and just being as well. And it's like, you know, there's, there's an issue, an, <laughs> I'm sure that there are people out there that probably think that I only share, like, the cherry-picked things but it's like I I'm willing to discuss any topic but at the same time like if I'm it was earlier that it, I, it dawned on me so someone was obviously you know wanting to hear me say something in particular that well they they were trying to figure out something and you know if that was you <laughs> listening to this the answer is like oh, I don't even know how to describe it it's because I'm so aware of you know where people folk I'll, I'll use myself as an example it's like even though I don't show actively in the videos like my low moments where I'm processing something heavy or and I mean I've already explored my emotional body like I I went to the edge of my emotional body and because I'd suppressed so much for so long that going that deep within myself was excruciating. I mean, that was the way that I perceived it while I was experiencing it. But then since then, it's like, you know, it freed me from what I thought about emotion to simply just feeling the energy of the emotion and, you know, letting it flow through me instead of grabbing on and holding, which created resistance and constriction and more energy blockage that then you know when you feel that shift within yourself that that's when you feel like the overwhelmingness of emotion which is just energy in motion and it's 
yeah like that's that's the biggest thing mis people misinterpret in the human experience is what emotion actually is because it's just energy moving through you that gets blocked and yeah that's why people have like massive releases and stuff which i absolutely love helping people to get their energy moving and they have massive emotional reactions and releases and even if it pisses people off like even if people listen to my videos and get pissed off like it's at least bringing something to the surface for them to to feel something instead of numbness like oh, i could never go back to those numb i could never go back to the numbness but but what it what came through to me that i realized is as well like because everything is always changing like nothing is ever the same and like we're never the same like if you were to watch this video when you're watching it and then watch it later like you know weeks months years or whenever it's like the amount you have changed within yourself you it, it'll be like you're watching another video like it like even though you know it's the same video it will seem different but also i will have changed so when you watched it the first time like when you're watching it now whenever that now moment is the way that i am in that moment that's not the moment that I'm recording this, like the way that I'm recording this, the energy I'm in at right in this present moment, this will also be affected by when you witness this video, which isn't, you know, because it's a recorder, it's not live, <laughs> will also be affected by the energy that I'm in, in that moment. And so like, it's like you're seeing the shifts within me in real time but also from the past like I don't it's really challenging to articulate this but I'm doing the best that I can with the, the limited vocabulary of the human English language um, <laughs> which you know maybe that's something I should work on um, that would actually be rewarding is creating more words that don't exist that actually have more depth and meaning to them instead of trying to regurgitate and recycle this worn out English language that doesn't do anything justice and I know that there'll be a lot of people that will resonate with that which is why I love you know you know visual and sound like creativity um because it's expression in its purest form um which I mean like if you're not an artist of any kind like if you don't create artwork or music, it's like, I, I just about guarantee, I, I, I think I could just about guarantee, that's the problem I started to think, but the one common denominator a lot of people that are creative will have in common is the fact that they would typically all recommend everybody do something creative because you find so much about yourself like you know if you if you're someone that doesn't do anything creative or only do creative stuff that's always the same like and this is an issue a lot of artists have is they rinse and repeat what they what they're familiar with what they're comfortable with and then they get stagnant they don't expand and keep growing because they they just keep in that comfort zone but the ones that like you know and that's why i shared you know some of this hand pan stuff that i've shared that to show you like i'm getting out of my comfort zone and that's you know me in and out of the flow state and you can feel and you can sense the resistance within me when i'm connecting and disconnecting constantly with the hand pan and it's a really good audio representation of you know getting into that flow state of creativity with something familiar or something new like i mean i know with dot art i can pick up and paint a mandala like i could not do it for 10 years and pick it up like i left off it would be so easy for me to just drop in because i've created those patterns within myself that it's it's like i've created these pathways energetically like created blueprints for me to just drop in but it's more challenging when it's something else that's unfamiliar like for me the hand pan 
So I'm still using the same blueprints, but it's not as effortless. Like it, it's requiring more effort because the human part of me gets in the way. And especially if I get in the mind, then it's like, it turns to shit real quick. Um, but yeah, like it's, and that's partly why I'm sharing that depending on the different choices that I choose to make, you know, between now and different moments, like will depend on the paths that I will choose to explore within, within the handpan journey of, you know, which for me is like, it's, and like I'm always saying in my videos, it's like, that's why I won't put myself in a box. It's like, I, I prefer the freedom to just explore whatever I feel like exploring and challenging myself and you know like that's that's what I've learned from so many artists is don't get stagnant don't get too complacent because you'll get stuck like I mean you can't really get stuck like you life will drag you by the hair if you if it has to um to force you into fresh and newer energy to expand within yourself like I mean that's part of the reason we reincarnate over and over again is is for the expansion and yeah it's like <laughs> and that's I mean there's there's so many different side topics that I could go down but yeah um like reincarnation for people who believe or don't believe in it it's like it doesn't matter what you believe in like I believe in reincarnation because of my experience has taught me that it's a thing and especially you know the different souls I've connected with on my path and like for me it's undeniable it didn't matter how much I denied it it was shoved in my face so much until I learned and and then also understood karma and you know all of the stuff which I'm still always learning and growing and expanding my understanding of because you know <laughs> otherwise I would have chosen to consciously um consciously expand out through consciousness with a with an exit point because that's always an option when you reach a certain level of consciousness you're aware that you can consciously transition through expansion or a, or ascension or whatever you want to call it that you then no longer stay in the human experience um which yeah i'm not even going to say point blank what that means I'm going to let people figure that out for themselves because some will know what I'm talking about or at least grasp it and others will be just like mm, he's full of shit or whatever but it's yeah when you reach a certain level of consciousness I don't even like the word level of consciousness but once you reach a certain state of consciousness you become aware of certain things that you were once oblivious to and the So you have a real hard time even saying ability like it's it's just the awareness the awareness of what we're able to consciously achieve and and, un and unconsciously too um <laughs> it's yeah anyway that is whatever i needed to share because i don't feel like sharing anymore so <laughs> I started to think about food, so there you go. <laughs>